Yo, what's up YouTube? Today I'll show you how to put your PlayStation 3 into the recovery mode to fix the errors that you're getting and everything like to restore the system update with a jailbroken update firmware so, but all you're gonna need is if you're doing the firmware a USB uh, yeah USB and this but if you're not you're just gonna need your PlayStation wire to connect it to your PS3. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to turn off your PlayStation and when it's powered off come down here and you're going to hold this and it's going to beep once and then it's going to beep again after and then it'll power off like that then you're going to want to hold it again, and this time it's going to beep once, and then it's going to beep twice. And then you just let go. And it's going to say connect the controller using a USB cable, and then press the PS button. So we're going to just going to connect that quickly. You're going to get your USB and just plug it in down here. If we're going to press the PS button. And, uh, it says restore system settings, restore default settings, restore file system, rebuild database, restore PS3 system. Basically, what this one, this one, this one, and this one, they will all fix the errors. And the jailbreak, if you want to do the jailbreak, you must have the same uh, update as your jailbreak. But yeah, and like if your PS3 won't turn on at all, well, say it's red, but when you touch it, don't turn on, just do this and go to restart system, click it, and it'll go to a black screen, and then whatever color your screen is when you're PS3 is not on, and it's going to turn back on. There we go. And I'm just going to sign in. But if you want, <coughs> sorry, but if you want to do the 3.55 jailbreak. I haven't got that, I've got 3.56 I'm waiting for the new jailbreak firmware to come out. But all you got to do is go to system update and then restore it with the jailbreak firmware, the custom firmware. So that's it for today, see you later.